I just recently purchased a drone and this is the drone I got here which is the DJI Mini 3 Pro and I'll show you what it looks like with the propellers open also if I do look up and down at the screen it's because I've got my keynotes here here to tell you what what my thoughts are about the drone and if there's any questions on on these notes you could if you want to ask me after the video so this here is the DJI Mini 3 Pro and I did my research about this drone and this is the reason why I got it now, just like, no, I'm not going to get into too much technical stuff because there are plenty of videos on YouTube that you can watch about this drone if you want to hear all the specs and all the other technical stuff about it. But I will tell you the reasons, my reasons, why I got this drone. And, and so then if that way, if it helps you want to get this model or not, but that way I, I'm giving you some information about it myself. So, reason number one why I got this drone is because it's got obstacle avoidance sensors, which means is if you're flying it near a tree, it will, depending what settings you put it on, the DJI RC controller, which is this one here, and I'll get to the reason about this controller sooner in the, sooner in the video. But if you're flying it near a tree, depending on what settings you have it on the controller, it will, it will avoid it. If you're flying near any obstacle where the sensors can see it, it will avoid it depending on what settings you put on that remote. So as you can see, there's two, as I said, there's two sensors there, there's two sensors there, there's backward sensors, forward sensors, and downward and upward sensors over here. Now, that's the only spots where the sensors are, but there's no sensors on the side. So when you're flying it out of up in the air somewhere, make sure if there's anywhere close or nearby, you're, not, you're going to be careful where you're flying it because there's no sensors on the side and it won't pick up anything on the side because there's no sensors. So it might hit or it might fall down or somewhere. So just be wary where you're watching it and where you're flying it. Next reason is because the, tech, the technology on this drone and the and drones in general and now that advanced, it's that good and it makes it that easy to learn how to use it. Now, for example, I'll, I'll just say a couple of features of it. Feature one is I'm going to highly mention this because one, say if the battery on this drone says when the battery is on 10% low, it will automatically return to its home point and land by itself, which is pretty amazing in my books. Second one is... If you want it to follow you, for example, in a car or a boat or just walking along, you, you draw, just draw a square around you on the, on the controller, on the screen. You click, go to follow me, keep following me mode on, go to active track, and this drone will actively follow you along. All you have to do is just make sure you watch where on the controller, watch where the drone is, and it will actively track you. Third reason is, is part of the regulations, but this is not really a reason, but it's underneath 249 grams, which means it's an ultra light drone. You don't have to register it or anything, but just make sure where you are, if you have a drone, what state, territory or country, you just make sure you check your regulation rules. But apart from that, it's ultra light. It's, uh, it's not too heavy and it's a great build quality as well, which goes to before I get to my next note, the other reason is, because one, I've just started a photography, I'm just starting to get into photography and I want to expand my, my photography range. So I thought, why not get into aerial footage with a drone, for example, so, because I'm going to take it on my trips, I'm going to take it for general use, I want to practice using it. And for example, I'm a fisherman, so if I want to take it out on the boat, and I want to, so I don't have to travel 60 kilometers out and find there's no fish. I can fly the drone up, send it out, look on the screen and say, right, the fish is all over there. We'll go over there, bring the drone back, and there's the fish. Or if you want to get good drone aerial footage for, like, if you want to 
film, film something, take photos of it. You could do anything with this drone. Anything I could, you could possibly imagine it's this good. Now, when I unboxed it, I was pretty amazing because I've never, when I, when I unboxed this drone, um, it was, I was pretty amazed because I never bought a drone in my life and I never thought of buying the drone. So this is my first, first ever drone and I was pretty amazed at the build quality and how light it is and how easy it is. Surprise. Now, on the second note, when I got now onto the remote, this here is the remote that comes with this drone. As I said, there are two options of remote you could get. There is one option where you could get your phone screen if you have one and connect your phone up the top, but I thought it may add extra weight and support if you're carrying your drone along with you carrying your controller along and the phone adds extra weight and you want to use it for a long time well then it's going to be get too heavy and it's going to get too hard tiring to carry it along so i thought it's extra light and also it's not too heavy and also other reasons if you're using your phone and some pops off your phone it can, it can be distracting when you're trying to focus concentrate driving your drone and all the software on the on the drone and the controllers all pre-installed on onto here and you've got a good screen to look at you can look at the screen know where you're flying it around and it's pretty amazing so that's that next up is also what i got for this drone before i get to my next note is i got it with a fly more combo kit so i'll show you the box will come with it and i'll show you the case Oh, I'll show you that. Well, if you saw me un, un, untake the propellers or the wings, I'll show you now how to pack it down. So these two front ones, all it does is tack under a way like this. And then these ones here just fold in like that. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Yes. And there, here is your drone. I charged charged it all up when I first got it, um, which they all charged up pretty well, and didn't take that long. Next thing, now when I got it, when I watched those research videos. Before I got this drone, they recommended me to get the kit, which means you've got the case to carry it with, two extra batteries, extra propellers, the cable, and the charging case for the batteries, which I'll get to also along the video. Now, it does say 34 minutes, which is right with the intelligent flight battery, but you're working on along about 20 minutes of flight time with, with wind or without, because the battery can run out quite quick, depending on how long you use it or what you're using it for, what you're doing with it. But 20 minutes is quite reasonable. It's still a long time. So 20 minutes of cap photos and footage is pr still pretty good in my books. So I'll show you. Here. So this is the case, what it comes with here. As you can see, and then later on, I'll show you what it looks like with everything packed away. So this here is the two, the two extra batteries of the case. Now, as you can see, there's numbers written on, but I'll get to that point in a minute. So what it does is, so now since you've got two extra batteries, for example, if one runs out, you put another one in charge, one runs out, that one runs out, put that on charge, right? So once you put it on charge, if you say you put two or three of them, once one's full, it'll go to the next one, then it'll go to the next one. Now, which is really good, because obviously, so if you're out there filming or taking a drone, drone footage with photo or video, you know, oh no, and now the drone's got to return and I haven't got a battery. Now this is what the battery pack's for. Take the extra battery out, go right, no problem, I've got the spare battery, and then that's what you use that for. Next thing is, now onto the number part of why they said to label numbers on them. For example, one, two, and three, is because each battery has a certain amount of cycles. I think I read up, as I said, I'm not going to give too much technical information, but I can tell you one thing. They said I think about on five hundred percent you have 
I think 500 or 600 cycles. So they say not to use all the cycles on the one battery. That's why you've got the two spare batteries and if you level it all up, use them all equally, charge them up all equally, you'll be fine and you'll be good to go and with no worries. So as you can see, take it out like that, out of the charging thing and put it in like that. And then there's the lights as you can see when they just came on. Also, what came along with this case, the plumb will come kit. Was your cables? Cable for the controller and cable for the um, drone. You got two cables there. And then you have the spare propellers. Also comes with a screwdriver, which I would show you. But they, when I watched the video, so they did say this one doesn't. Much as it came comes with it, it's they said doesn't necessarily work that well. So they, they recommend you get a Phillips triple head screwdriver to unscrew all those screws if you need to change the propellers. So now I'll show you what everything looks like all packed. First up, put the drone in. Make sure. carefully like that so then the drone doesn't so you don't break the end propellers next up you put the remote in first in the remote in second sorry like this because then it gets then it fits in a lot easier make sure you have the screen facing away then you put your spare batteries in the battery case In. It may look all tight, but it's all nice and snug. It all fits good. You may have to push it down so it's all in. And there you go. They're all in and nice and snug like that. Then you zip it all up, and that's it all there. Carry it along. You've got the strap, shoulder strap. Put it on like that, and there's your nice carry case with all your drones, with all your drone stuff. On the next note, um, as I said, I've charged it all up, yeah. Uh, on the next note, test, yes. I just took it for a test yesterday, and as I said, um, the technology on it's pretty good, it's pretty advanced technology, but um, like it was a bit tricky to use, like the steering, you've got to get used to the steering and the controls. I had it at some point, but if you just start nice and simple and slow, like first of all, go forward, back, side to side, learn all that before you go any higher advanced controls. Um, then you'll get used to it slowly and slowly and quicker and quicker. And I will po I'll put the, um, the drone footage in this video when I edit it. Also, before I go, make sure you go and check out the, um, the camp man on YouTube because he Here's another reason why I got this model of the drone and why he recommended it. Because he travels full time around Australia. He sometimes works along there to get some money. But um, make sure you go and check out his channel because he is awesome. He tells you all these great, great camping spots, all this information, how he sets, how he sets himself up, what he does to help himself travel and all that sort of stuff. So make sure you go and give him a follow, a subscribe on YouTube after you watch my video. And um, also, uh, before I go, I'll put the link in the description of the, this drone model, the combo pack, and of everything where I got it. And um, I'll see you all next time. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, or leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.